CARICOM heads meet to discuss the latest developments in the COVID-19 pandemic. Prime Minister Shastney joins the 30th session of UN ECLAC, supporting innovation amongst the nation's young people. And NEMAC and stakeholders meet to weigh in on new protocols. All this and more as we review the Prime Minister's weekly diary. Among Prime Minister Honorable Alan Shastney's first appointments for the week was the 41st regular meeting of the Conference of Heads of Government of the Caribbean Community. As has become the new normal, the meeting was a virtual one, addressing the COVID-19 and its impact on the region, the implications of the pandemic for the health of the region, and financial and economic developments. The meeting also addressed the Universal Vulnerability Index, blacklisting, and a joint tourism policy for CARICOM. The Prime Minister's virtual sessions continued as he joined the 30th session of the United Nations Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean, ECLAC. The Prime Minister highlighted St. Lucia's approach to addressing the pandemic, official development assistance, and concessionary development financing. Hey guys, how are y'all? Good, very good. Nice shirts? Thanks. <laughs> All right. On Wednesday, Prime Minister Chastney was wowed by a presentation by young St. Lucian innovators who are stepping up with ways to address the COVID-19 pandemic. Keegan Patrick, Shugan Rosary, and Devi Frederick from Optronics made a presentation to the Prime Minister on reimagining the way we use existing technology by sharing some of their own solutions. Prime Minister Chastney committed to working with the three young men to actively integrate technology into the COVID-19 response. The Prime Minister noted that as we shift towards taking advantage of the digital economy, we need to embrace and invest more in technology. As the cruise ships measure um, the demand for a destination by a series of, of stuff. So the Castries market, we're completely revamping it to put small boutiques. Only Caribbean-made products. On Friday, as the week came to a close, the Prime Minister announced new protocols to address the community spread of COVID-19. Prior to the announcement of the new measures, the Prime Minister, the CMO, several government ministers, and the command center team met with the National Emergency Management Advisory Council and stakeholders. Given the current status of active cases and projections, the government of St. Lucia implemented a work-from-home advisory, reduction in mass crowd events, a change in business operating hours, an extended closure of school compounds, and an order of no consumption of alcohol on premises of bars. The government also announced contact sports are to be discontinued and issued an advisory for St. Lucians to limit movement between 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. The Prime Minister hopes the latest measures for a period of 30 days will help curtail the spread of COVID-19. So wearing your mask is uh, taking responsibility, not just for yourself, but for everyone else. And, and I'm really appealing to everyone to understand that logic Understand the logic of your own life. Understand the logic of your loved ones and everyone else. And if we adhere to these rules, and, and, and yes, I, I can hear some of, of the criticisms. Well, you just want people to go to work and go home. For the next 30 days, that's, that's pretty much what we're asking people to do. To minimize the social behavior um, and activities. And I think it's a small price to have to pay to maintain structure and order and safety in our country. And, and we, all, we all deserve it. We're doing it this not just for ourselves, but we're doing it this for our community and for our country. That was your quick look into the Prime Minister's Week. Join us next week for more insight into the Prime Minister's Weekly Diary. Reporting for the Office of the Prime Minister, I am Nicole MacDonald.